Oh, now there's an interesting thought. We could make this moment so much more delectable. Oh, Vegeta, come down here for a second. Wouldn't you like to do it? I know you despise this Saiyan underling for daring to be so uppity. So I'll let you kill him to prove you've realized your folly and repledge your loyalty like the old days. Do it and I'll spare you at least. <laughs> Hey, I really botched this one, huh? <laughs> Whis tried to warn you, and yet here you are. I guess you always will be a naive idiot. Thanks for the offer, but I can't. As annoying as this bastard can be, it's our rivalry that keeps pushing me to get stronger. I can't afford to kill him. <laughs> what if I sweeten the deal? Take Goku's life, and I'll appoint you the supreme commander of the entire Freezer Force. Of course, I know at the moment it only consists of Sorbet, but we'll rebuild it stronger than ever. You would make me your supreme commander. Is that a real offer? <laughs> Should I take that as a yes? Damn it. Now I may actually regret this. <sighs> but I've already made my decision. I'm going to pulverize you until there's nothing left. <laughs> You dare say that to me? Use your head. Do you actually think I would stay loyal to you after you blew up the planet I was destined to rule? <laughs> well, I wonder what the prince would do if he knew you authorized planet Vegeta's destruction from the start. Shh, keep that under wraps. Get down here, Krillin. Your buddy Kakarot needs a sense of me. He's fading fast. Okay, I'm coming. No, oh, I don't think so. <laughs> Super Saiyan for years, and now I too have the power of a god.